What's up guys, Fitness Friday, it's Coach Daryl, Coach Imelda. We've already done our foam rolling, we're gonna get you guys started off with some pogos, get the blood flowing a little bit. Nice easy hops. Try not to let your heels touch the ground. I'm gonna go three different directions here. Straight up and down, forward and backwards, as well as side to side. This one will get your heart rate up pretty quick. Stay nice and light. And side to side here. Got a nice light feet. Run into some single leg RDLs next. Single leg RDLs. Nice control through each leg. Alternating, keep those hips square to the floor. Make sure we're not rotating. Feel a little stretch through those hamstrings. Nice balance through the foot and ankle. All right, let's go knee to chest. A nice stretch on that glute and then that hip. Pull that knee all the way up. I got you. And we're going to go up and across, up and across, stretching some of those hip rotators. Next we'll hit around the world, getting those shoulders nice and loose. Shoulders loose, Tur torso twist, torso twist. Keep it on. Arms folded across, rotating to each side, trying to keep those hips in place. So rotating through the spine. Rotating through that spine. And go good morning into a squat. So hinge at the hips first, drive down to that squat second, hips up first, chest up second. This will help with that squat mobility, hip mobility, hamstring flexibility. Good. Nice hinge, squat down to the heels, drive the hips up, and then drive the hips through. Hinge, squat. Deadlift and rise. Nice stuff, nice stuff. All right, let's hit a walk out to a calf stretch. Walking those hands out. Once you get out there, I'm bringing knee forward. Push the heel down on the opposite side. So walking it out, bring your knee forward, push the heel down on the opposite leg and back up, getting those shoulders warmed up, shoulder stability, core stability, stretch the calves, stretch the hamstrings, get the blood flowing. Go to deep squats, hit some deep squats. Nice and deep, chest stays up, get nice and low. I'm driving those knees out with the arms. So driving those knees out, keeping the chest up. You can shift from side to side, get a little deeper on each side. Work on that ankle flexibility here, hip mobility. All right, let's flip on the back. We'll do some glute bridge marches here. Going through our glute bridge, supine position. 
I'm gonna drive up through the heels, march the leg up, and alternate. All right, so we'll stay in that up position. Keep that core locked in. Alternating knee drives. Make sure when you pick that leg up that that hip doesn't drop on the opposite side. We're keeping those hips nice and level. We don't want any rotation through the spine. Nice job guys, 90-90 on the hip rotations here. We're gonna drop those knees side to side. We got our 90-90 position or our Z-sit position. Drop those knees to the side. Rotate them back the other way. Drop those knees. All right, working on that hip control, hip mobility. And relax. Nice job, guys. All right, guys, let's jump into it here. Start off with our Spider-Man crawls. Trying to drive that knee up to the arm. Squeeze those obliques as you bring that knee up. Nice and controlled. I'm keeping that back nice and flat. Make sure you breathe, right? Do not hold your breath here. Let's go to our bear position. So our knees are gonna be directly under our hips, hands directly under our shoulders, and we're gonna hit our shoulder taps, okay? Again, anti-rotation here. We don't wanna rotate the hips or the spine. Keeping that back nice and flat. Nice light tap onto that shoulder. Slow and steady here, guys. Don't rush it. All right, let's finish it off with some Z-sits. Okay, so we're gonna do our Z ups. Going from that 90 position, we're gonna drive those hips through. Okay? As you go to sit back down, try to sit straight down. Don't push the hips back too far. Okay? Keep yourself in that tube. All right, keep yourself in the tube. I'm gonna go straight up and down, not hitting the walls of that cylinder. Drive those hips up and through. Squeeze the glutes. Work those hips. Drive it through, exhale as you come up, inhale on the way down, switch it up, drive it through, squeeze and lower, nice, exhale, inhale. Good. Keep that core tight. Squeeze. Nice. Good work, guys. Let's take 30 seconds here. Stay loose. Get a sip if you need it. And we're going to run back through those three exercises. Nothing too crazy here. We're going to build up. Building ourselves back up. Start off with those Spider-Man crawls. Start off with that knee drive up. Bringing those knees up. I'm able to retract just a little bit on those shoulder blades. Drop down a little bit, yep, there you go. Good. Trying to get that knee high. Work on that hip mobility, core strength, shoulder stability. Back into our bear position for the shoulder taps. Again, knees directly under the shoulders, hands under, excuse me, knees under your hips, hands under the shoulders. Nice, even tempo. Go ahead, keep yourself from twisting, nice. Let's uh, finish it off here with our Z ups. I'm gonna hit each side. Squeeze it up. 
You know, drive those hips through, try to keep a neutral hip. You don't want too much arch in your lower back. Squeeze and control on the way down. The rep's not over till you make it back to the floor. Don't give up on the way down. You want to make sure you're under control. Squeeze. Good. Switch it up. <laughs> Same thing other side. Drive it through. Grab those hips. Amelda, turn to your right just a little bit. Good, yep. Nice. Awesome. Great job, guys. Let's get about 45 second break here. We'll head back in for set number two. All right, guys, let's jump back in here. Round two, okay? Second set of exercises, starting off with our lateral lunges. We're gonna go side to side here, let's go. Stepping side to side. Make sure we're dropping down, pushing those hips towards our heels. Trying to keep our foot, knee, hip all in a nice line. Side to side, good weight distribution. So the leg we step out on is doing the work. We're getting a little bit of stretch. Keeping those feet nice and pointing straight. You wanna feel those glutes working, guys. Work those glutes. Sit back into those heels. Let's take it to the floor here for some V-ups. Wanna go alternating here. So we got single leg coming in towards the chest. Switch it to the other side. Squeezing it up. Back to our feet. Finish off with some nice squat jacks here. Nice and easy. Make sure you go to a comfortable depth for you. Nice in and out, and about just wider than the shoulders and then just inside the shoulders. Nice work, good balance. And 30 second break here, guys. Take 30, towel off, get a little bit of water. And then we'll get you back in for one more set of those same exercises. Take a couple deep breaths. Get that heart rate to come down. All right, get ready. Going to our lateral lunges. Here we go. Side to side. Drive those hips back. Use that glute. Drop into that hip, exhale on the way up. Inhale, exhale. Good, nice balance, good tempo. Trying to be consistent as possible. All right, back to the floor. Single leg V up. Other leg straight out. Good. Extend it, flex it, squeeze it up. Knee to chest. We're moving our torso and our leg at the same time. Exhale as you're coming up. Inhale on the way out. Nice tempo, consistent pace. All right, guys, back to your feet. Go to our squat jacks. Easy work here. Go to your comfortable depth. 
feet out, feet in, nice and light, nice soft landings. So get that heart rate up for you. Last exercise here, guys, and we'll take a short break. Nice job, guys. All right, let's get a break in. All right, guys, we're back. Getting us in here with this last round of exercises. Make sure you have a step available. Find a step at home, step stool. Your stairs work just fine, but we'll be working on those step ups. All right, here we go. Stepping ups, drive that opposite knee up. We're gonna stay on the same side. Drive those knees up, push those hips through. Make sure you're breathing. Exhale as you drive that knee through. All right, we're going to our incline push-ups. If you guys are at the stairs, great spot to do push-ups. Make sure you got a stable surface. Think about driving that step away from you. Push those arms away. Squeeze that chest, exhale as you're coming up. Keep that core nice and solid. All right, guys, let's jump into some RDLs with the split squat. Hinge and then lunge, right? Hinge first, lunge second. A nice hip hinge. Switch it up. Same thing, other side. Hip hinge, stretch the hamstrings. Drop down towards that back knee. Stretch it, drop it down. All right, guys, let's get 30 second break here. 30 second break, then we'll finish it up. One more time through those three. You guys are all done for today. We're gonna start with our alternating step ups. Drive that opposite knee up. Here we go. Keep that core engaged. Don't lose that hip posture. Shoulders back. Right, just find a nice, easy tempo for you. Incline push ups. Use those stairs, use that step. You guys are feeling strong, you can go from the floor. This is a little bit modified here. Exhale as you push away. Nice. Flip it around, finish it off. We got our rear foot elevated. RDL here, and then into that split squat or that lunge. Drop that back knee straight down. Good, use that glute to push you back up. Stretch hamstrings here. Drive those hips up with the glute. Nice balance to the foot. Remember that front leg is doing all the work. Back leg is for balance. Switching it up. 
Same thing other side. Finish strong here, guys. Finish strong. Hinge and lunge. Hinge, lunge. Good. Nice flat back. And drop it down. Squeeze it up. Awesome. Nice work, guys. Get some hydration. Get some carbs in you. Make sure you get a little bit of a stretch. And we'll see you next time.